Greeting guys, so welcome back. So in this video, we will be seeing top Python libraries to extract tables from PDF. So I will be trying to guide you through how we can make use of Camelot and then Tabula and then PDF Flumber for to like do the extraction from the PDF. And getting table out of uh, PDF files can be like tough because of how like these PDFs are structured and PDFs are like designed to appear the same everywhere which complicates the extraction of uh, like uh, organized data like tables. So the look assembly and the formatting of tables and PDFs can vary greatly so making accurate table extraction more difficult. So Python provides strong libraries that could help to solve these challenges. So the one is like Camelot that we're gonna see today and the second one is Chavela and the third one is PDF Flumber. First we will be seeing Camelot. So this library is used for extracting the tables. It's particularly effective for PDFs with simple table structure and it uses computer vision to detect and extract the tables. So what are the key features of um, Camelot? One is simple API for uh, table extraction explore tables to csv json excel or html and it helps in visual debugging options and the second one is tabula tabula is another um, well-known tool which helps in extracting the tables from pdf so it uses a java backend but provides a python wrapper for convenience and the key features are like java based pdf processing supports multi Page uh, table extraction and it also allows us to export tables to CSV, JSON, or TSV. And the last one, which is the third one, is PDF Flumba, which excels at handling complex table structure, which offering like precision and control over the extraction process. So the key features are high precision in table extraction and it handles the complex and nested tables and also it supports text and uh, table extraction. So let's get into the uh, hands-on lab. So I've already prepared the notebook uh, to do this uh, comparison. So we will be using two PDF for this test and uh, the one is this one that I have created by hand like with the basic I mean example financial data and we do have a table here in this PDF. And uh, yeah, we do have few images, but it won't work in extracting tables. Uh, like uh, it need like special uh, technique like uh, OCR for to extract these kind of details from the images. So the second PDF that we're gonna use is this one. I just downloaded this PDF from internet and yeah, it do have a table here and with text. So let me go back to the uh, notebook session. So this is the hands-on notebook that I have already prepared for the demo purpose. And before just jump into the coding part, uh, let me input the PDF that we're gonna be testing with. So this directory which exists by default in uh, Google Colab and what I'm gonna do is I will be importing the files that we need. Okay. So you'll be using a sample PDF and PDF for to test. So it's done now. Uh, I want to just make sure that these files are inside the sample data. So let yeah so once it's done um, we can uh, so we can just start extracting the tables from it so for the first time uh, don't worry if you see a few libraries that i have installed here um, don't be shocked uh, these are the dependencies that we need uh, for the run the camelot and 
so let me reproduce the error so and then we will see why we are installing those libraries so for the first time we have to pip install a camera library and then we will be importing it and then we will be reading the pdf once we read the pdf in tables so we can export it in csv format and then we can also pass uh, get the passing report as well okay so do not worry uh, you have to just uh, delete this uh, dictionary this is the passing report that i got for the foo pdf uh, while i was testing with camelot and you can delete it uh, before you run or otherwise you can run with it it work as well so if you see here we are getting deprecation error which is pdl pdf file error so so what it's saying is we have to install a, a version of pi pdf2 uh, which is lower than uh, 3.0 so for to do that uh, uh, let me do it manually here pip install pi pdf okay so now it's done so let me read in the notebook okay it just not taken into account uh, let me restart the session okay now we re-execute so you will, you will be getting the second error which is a uh, ghost script which is installed so for to install that you can use these lines to update your app get and then install it using app get so let me run this so it's done now so now we are ready to launch the cell so let me run again okay so now we are getting the result okay for example the results are like this let me open the uh, pdf so if you see here it just able to like uh, even detect the headers uh, from the table and also uh, the numerical values or text values from the table right quite amazing the results are like really great I, and i don't find any um, errors in the extraction in terms of uh, like the text or character so it's good So the next thing is we will be uh, testing Tabula and as I said it's a Java based PDF extraction library and uh, we should install it and then using Tabula Pi and once we install it we have to read the PDF file that we will be using it using with it. So let's uh, test with another uh, PDF uh, for example uh, the, this one sample PDF. Let me copy the path and uh, let me paste it here and we will be reading all the pages and uh, if it do have multiple tables i really want to extract all the tables and then we'll be printing the number of tables in it and we will be just seeing the first table and basically as i showed you the pdf earlier it do have like only one table so yeah it will be outputting only one table and then we will be importing this uh, table into the csv format so let's execute this cell to see how tabula works on the pdf okay pdf path is not uh, defined yeah so i have uh, I have to provide the PDF path here, even in the ex export part. Let me re-execute it.
So great. The number of tables it just extracted is one. Yeah, because we do have only one table uh, in the PDF, in the sample PDF. And I just have uh, written few column and rows. So let me open the sample PDF to compare with the result. So if you see the results, which are like really same as here in the table in the right side in the PDF. So great. Okay, so the third library that we're gonna test is PDF Flumber. Okay, uh, for to do that, we have to install a PDF Flumber and then we will be opening the full PDF uh, that we have tested with Camelot and then we will be loop through all the pages and then we will be uh, printing the page number and also the table that it, it just have got extracted one by one so let me run this cell with a full pdf okay okay it just asked me to restart the session once i install like pdf number Let's restart the session. Let me rerun the cell. So as I as we have already installed it, it just says requirement already satisfied. Great. Can able to render a few tables in the row. Maybe uh, later we can just uh, convert this to uh, data frame. I do have a simple code here to convert this to CSV as well. If you need it, we can run this cell as well to see the result in the CSV file. So as we have only one file and the table of CSV is this one. Wow, quite, it's just quite amazing. Uh, let me open the PDF as well inside. So so that we can compare it with the results that we have obtained and let me let me go minimize this one yeah so if you see the results are like same as here in the pdf pdf flumber is doing like a great job and uh, yeah so this is a drill that I really want to bring to uh, all of you to like to learn with me on like how we can extract uh, tables uh, from the PDF, which is really important because tables hold like more insightful data uh, that can be used in more many use cases uh, in NLP or machine learning, even in GenEI. Uh, so I hope you find this video helpful. And if you find it helpful, then give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. So let me see you all with another good topic. And until then, this is Amanya. Bye for now.